What is going on guys? We're back on another video today on Madden 19 Connected Franchise. It should be Madden 20 though, because we're using updated rosters. Well, whatever this guy's updated rosters consist of. And uh, we're doing a fantasy rebuild, almost said realistic. We're going to be using the quote-unquote realistic rosters coming in from Madden 20. We're at 80, 80 overall, which eh, I don't know how to feel about that. This is the team that could have been, of course, what we could have been. I think Desmond King should probably be a little bit higher. What's his development? I, I, like, would you guys want me to change? Like, I feel like if I change people's devs up, I kind of have to change their dev down. Like, De Derwin. Oh, yeah, he is a superstar. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's it's interesting. Usually you see a guy like Trevor Williams go early off the team. I'm debating on what I want to do here. Of course, if you watch our Chargers Legacy League, please watch it. I want more views. Uh, we usually put, well, we did put Desmond King to free safety, I think, after a season. Was it a season? I don't remember. But we put him at free safety. That could be the move here once again. However, safety is a pretty easy position to get. So I'm not quite sure. Casey Hayward, uh, 28. I think he could last a while. So there's going to be a lot of pieces on both sides of the ball that we just don't replace. You know, I don't think we're going to replace Keenan. We're probably not going to replace Melvin. I was going to replace Philip Rivers, but he's a 93 overall. Quick. Quick? Really? Quick? Look at the play action and throw under pressure. Jesus, they think really highly of Phillip. I've always pegged EA as a Chargers fan. You know that? Just the whole company. Just The whole company is a singular fan of the Chargers. That's it. Uh, what about Melvin? Melvin's 29. Bosa, obviously, you don't have to worry about. Let's make some trades. So I'm not quite sure why it costed us so much to get Shaq Mason, but because it costed us so much, I just assumed Gates didn't really have much value. Uh, Corey Legit. I'm not sure how it says he will develop quickly. He's in uh, 83 overall, which is okay. He's quick dev, which is okay. He's 28, which is definitely not okay. We gave rid of a third round as well. So realistically, we get rid of, eh, we probably get rid of maybe a second and a third for Shaq, which is fine. Well, this was a very pleasant surprise. Pick eight, Benjamin and Virgil Green for DeAndre Hopkins. I probably should have showed you how we got pick eight, didn't, shouldn't I? Let's take a look at the transactions. Here it is. Uh, Travis Benjamin. Nope, that's the wrong... Is it? No, it isn't. Virgil Green, Benjamin... No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I'm just... Michael Schofield, prison break, and uh, a second round pick for the Bills' eighth pick. Jesus, we got there. We trade uh, some linemen, something the Chargers desperately need, for f and a fifth round pick for a DT... Which they also desperately need. So you tell me, smart guy. So we trade uh, Tyrod Taylor, our first round this in next year for the Giants. Did I say first round? Did I? No, I said fourth. So Joseph Adai, Mike Davis, and a fourth round this year that we got through unshown ways for Ali Marpet. It was a couple of old players no one cared about. I didn't want to trade Rochelle, but uh, the two DTs were green interest and... Ironically, we're going to take a, a decent DT off of them for those two DTs. Unfortunately, if you're watching the video, uh, guys that play that position, you're not very good, dude. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hey, it's true. Hopefully this trade is worth it. Meebane and Perriman for Will Hernandez. Uh, I honestly don't know who our linebacker is going to be. So we have Jatavis, who I want to put back in middle. Uh, and Wosu, who's really not even a coverage linebacker. And then Kaiser White, because uh, let's be honest, Todd Thomas, you're, you're a great player in real life, but you're not the move going forward for long term. But hey, maybe we won't need the long term. Maybe this is going to be a bad decision to get rid of him. Thomas Davis, Justin Jackson, and a second round next year for the Jets. Number two, well, second round, uh, second pick overall projection. We just still have a couple other picks that I don't really know about. We'll probably trade some of those off. Maybe. I don't know. We're running low on uh, trade bay. We have five linemen, even though two of them are iffy. One's really iffy. Uh, we do have both DTs set. Linebackers, not looking great, but it's it's a starting cast. Uh, defensive backs, not super great, but I think we're going to be able to sneak out like one more trade. I don't really know what the hell Watkins is going to really be worth, though. I don't know if we traded a first-round pick to the Rams for something, but it says pick five. I... Uh, uh yeah, the LA Rams is projected pick five, so I don't want our pick. I don't want their pick. Do I want their pick? I mean, their pick is going to... Nah, we can't. 
it could be pick 31 and 32 out of that. But I really don't know what to do with those because without an actual player to trade with the pick, it usually just doesn't work. We just trade like a pick five for a worse first. So there we go. Rams for the Cardinals straight up. i would surprised that actually worked. And then we're going to try to see if we can trade our pick to the Broncos because they're for some reason really, uh, they're projected really high as well for some reason. In real life, I can see it maybe because they do have, a, they have, they got some pieces in the off season, but definitely not Madden where we don't even have that yet. Don't even have the draft picks in. Question is, do I want to do the draft picks as well? I mean, I guess I will, but with all these high picks, we're pretty much just going just to make the greatest team ever right out there. Will, what? Quick dev. I trip lads. I'm just saying I traded for him expecting star call it cheating. I had to I I felt cheated myself and whose feelings are more important. You know, that's what I'm saying. So we have some resignings Trevor Williams being the main dude. I don't know why they always let him go in free agency. It makes no sense to me. You can get him for six plus years at a very cheap deal and uh, I just don't get it. Adrian Phillips. We're definitely looking to replace him. So it is what it is. All right, here we are, head to the playoffs. And, of course, we're in. What would you expect? Baker Mayfield's the MVP. The Chiefs are only 8-8, eight and eight, though, which is a little bit shocking. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, that could very well happen uh, this upcoming se season. No Kareem Hunt uh, for the entire season. Obviously, they didn't even have him on the roster. And then the whole Tyreek Hill situation not looking super great there. And even if they were both there... With the way their defense played, and, you know, they only... I mean, I guess they added a few pieces, but they kind of lost on defense. I mean, if they don't have another amazing season on offense, there's just just no way they can replicate what they did. 8-8 eight and eight actually could be what they go this season. Who, who honestly knows? Um, you know, they, they really didn't get better. Honestly, they definitely got worse. And the game really cucked Mike Williams. I don't know how good of an overall he is. He had star dev. Uh, obviously, he still has star dev. I don't know if somebody... I don't think if you update the rosters, I don't know if you can actually change the devs. Maybe EA did it with their final update, but I've seen that as well because uh, I was looking at all the overalls, and apparently Cantrell is our, our number three wide receiver. Good job, EA. I really got to pay attention to that, man. All right, so this is the team. We have Mike Williams, obviously, in the spot now. Cantrell, what's his... He's still normal dev. Kind of sucks. He's, he did really well, even though he was poor uh, of an overall. Keenan Allen did pretty... He did okay. A lot of catches. Hopkins did really well. Uh, I think. I don't even remember. I've I already forgot. I was just thinking about the whole stupid Mike Williams thing. Linebacker core is really bad, but Jatavis, he should be a, a cornerstone guy for us in the future. Uh, Desmond King, he had a really good year. Uh, Tyrell, Willi Tyrell? Trevor Williams, not looking super great. Uh, Phillips, eh. Derwin, honestly... For for uh, 87 overall superstar, I thought he would have went up higher. He just didn't, though. Patriots. If we can beat the Patriots here, I'd feel pretty good about it. Because, of course, even though you don't see the Patriots in there often, they still have Tom Brady. They still have a decent roster. Uh, I expect this to be a win easily, honestly. But it's it's the Patriots, man. That sim is very relentless. Look at the season Tom had as well. Very similar seasons. I would probably take Phillips a little bit better, honestly, though. Um, but... Then again, Phillip does have a lot more weapons, especially adding uh, Hopkins. But, you know, go with the Rams pick, even if the game says it's uh, it's number five, because it sure as hell isn't going to be. Go to the end of the game. We'll see uh, up to the fourth quarter where we are. So left to right is them. Right to left is us. Defense makes a really good play. Offense for them does score. There you go. Clutch drive. Doesn't matter how long it takes, as long as you score. And how do we not finish that drive with a score? I don't know. This has been a real defensive battle. I don't like this. From the two, we do score a touchdown. We move the, uh, you know, we take the lead by four. That's going to end soon, though. Here it is. Ten minutes left. Down three. Offense struggling hard, man. That's going to be automatic points with the way uh, the offense played there. Defense actually locks up. And I think they try to go for a field goal and missed. Down the field, get the touchdown with five minutes left, but it's Tom Brady. Can you really give him this much time? The answer is, of course, no. And here, I don't know what the down is. Of course, always getting sacked. Huge play, though, for 25 yards on Mike Williams. And with 20 seconds left, we take the lead and we win the game. Wow. Phillip Rivers out clutches Tom Brady and honestly sends him to his retirement. Just honestly, even in real life, probably. Not even going to lie. I know every year it's 
oh when is when is Brady retiring? It's clearly it's this year. It's it's next year. I think uh, I think you know as much as it's not a bad spot to be in. I think anything but the championship round of the playoffs probably retires Tom Brady. I'm not even gonna lie, I really do. Especially if it's even worse, you know. If they don't even make the playoff. Oh, especially after a two pick performance, definitely. That's uh, that's definitely a game he probably wouldn't want to come back from. Dante Hightower, no. Byron Maxwell. Goshkowski. That's about it. So uh, already headed to the championship game. I knew we were going to make quick work of this rebuild. Uh, we didn't really add necessarily a whole lot. I think what we did was we upgraded small positions. And we also uh, obviously got a bunch of draft picks. So if you really think about where we upgraded. It's off offensive line, of course. We added three great guards moved one to tackle uh then we added hopkins which was huge defensively we added some dts which is one of their biggest needs of course uh they they addressed that in the draft uh, we did a really good job of of just filling the the very small needs the chargers have even though offensive line is a pretty big position it's not easy to fill going against the browns in the championship game 85 overall again just like the Patriots. They are going to be built a little bit better, though. Going into Madden 20, they're probably the best team in Madden to develop, and uh, I would easily stand by that statement. They've got, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of an issue in offensive line, but they still got a couple of pieces. Definitely a, a team that's easy to work with. At the end of the game here again, first quarter looking okay. Do tie up the game, but that's all right because we score another touchdown. They score another touchdown. It's starting to break open a bit here. Start of the third quarter, and here we are giving up a field goal. That's fine. Defense is doing a really good job as expected. Here they are, though, moving down the field. We do stop them. So with 12 minutes left, the offense, Melvin Gordon, may have just ran us into the Super Bowl. Melvin Gordon with like a 60-plus yard touchdown, and I think we're in the Super Bowl year one here, boys. This would be perfect, too, because obviously year one Super Bowl mean. Oh, Jesus, could we close out a little bit better? A year's year one Super Bowl win would mean, obviously, a three-year rebuild, which is the perfect rebuild, in my opinion. Uh, I think three to four years, especially for a team that's already pretty close to being there. Uh, you know, that's that's the mark I like to hit. Leonard Williams, I can't see. Two sacks, five tackles. Just barely saw a glance of that. Uh, Phillip Rivers uh, kind of got outperformed, uh, performed, but Rivers did have a very good rushing attack of Gordon to rely on. Uh, well, maybe not really good, because to be fair, without that big run, Melvin would have played pretty poorly. Hunt, I don't think, had a big run. So there's there's that. Odell did really well. Hopkins did okay. Keenan did pretty well. Crab, they have Michael Crabtree as well, or is that just a Madden thing? Surely they didn't stack their offense that high, right? It is kind of weird how that always happens. It's, it's kind of unfair as well, especially from a fan standpoint. Cuts Cream Hunt because of, you know, something really bad that he did. And then another team's like, we believe he deserves a second. No, you believe that you're trying to get a good player on your team. You don't believe that he deserves a second chance. You just want him on your team, you know? Not to knock against the Browns because I would do the same thing, but it's, it's almost kind of unfair where it's like nobody would re respect the Chiefs if they didn't cut him. But then it's like... Good on the Browns to give him a second chance. It wasn't that bad. You know, it's like, really? Really? <laughs> you know, it's it's really unfair, honestly. Like, I feel like the team should catch the same type of heat, if not more than the Chiefs, because they're like, you know what? A good football team is more than moral. It doesn't matter that you go against what you believe in as long as you have a good team. It is what it is. Of course, we're in the Super Bowl versus Dallas. This is a very, a very interesting matchup. Ooh, I do not like the situation we're in here. I will say, what am I doing here? I will say the defense is doing a damn good job, as usual. Ironically, they give a touchdown right before half. Defense is setting up the team nicely. I mean, there is plenty of opportunities for this offense to win this game. And Phillip Rivers probably just lost us the Super Bowl. Come on, Phillip and company. We're getting bailed out by the refs. We kick a field goal, man. Are you for real? Well, as I was talking about how good the defense is, they just absolutely choke it up. The ref's playing a big part in this one, I will say. Come on, get in the end zone. There we go. With three minutes left, if the defense can hold. This is a third and one that I have to see. They're going to go with the zone blitz. Makes sense. I, I don't know why you would back up the DT, though. This is probably a running situation, right? Why would you have your big guys coming off the line? Oh, maybe not. Over the middle, good play call by the Cowboys, I will say. Still not over, though. We... I'm not going to say anything. We forced Dak to three interceptions and he couldn't win the game. 
The defense did exactly what they needed to against a guy like Dallas. A guy like Dallas. Interesting. A team like Dallas. I'm used to seeing Joey off the edge. There he goes, Joey! I will play the drive because, of course, the game's going to throw a ball 10 yards down the field and waste 40 seconds. So if we want any chance to win, it's probably going to have to come to us. And Phillip's going to hold on to the ball because he has no awareness. Don't get me wrong, I saw the running back late, but I was looking for someone actually going to get 15-20. Phillip holds on to the ball there. That's why I traded him in ASAP. He's just not the guy. Come on, Cant. Can't even switch to DeAndre Hopkins, who would have had a touchdown. Come on, Cantrell. And, wow, that's... If you guys didn't think the sliders were on ridiculous amounts of levels, there's there's that. I mean, holy crap. I don't understand how when I come into these rebuilds and I have to play these situations on base all Madden, they're so much harder. Maybe, maybe I do have the uh, the reaction time off. Maybe the, the reaction time does need to be lower. Because this is all 50s. You know, I've normally I have it on 100 for everything. I don't know. But of course, we lose. AI might have done better than us, honestly. Doesn't help that Phillip is holding on to the ball. Like, who holds on to the ball like that? I don't understand. Like, I've never played quarterback, obviously. Um, but it just seems so simple and obvious. I don't know. Man, that's just a Madden thing, just so you don't throw the ball away at the last second every time. But I don't want to see it. Dallas wins. Um, we're still probably going to do three because, of course, if you make a Super Bowl now... Three years from now, it's probably unlikely that you're going to be in the Super Bowl. Yeah, maybe a year or two after, but three or four, I don't think so. Two missed field. This is why you don't kick field goals. This is just why you don't kick field goals. Our kicker is gone. Bye-bye. You're gone. Michael Vagley. Are you for real? He misses two. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Bye-bye. I don't know what the situation was. I don't know if both were blocked and it was just not his fault, but it's just not happening. At a base level of me knowing he missed two field goals, that's all I need to know. You know, that's it. In the Super Bowl, that's it. I'm just, nothing else I need to know. I don't care what distance it was. doesn't matter. So we have about 20 mil to work with. So Phillip's still a really good overall. I mean, really, we just need to get better through the center position and linebacker position. Probably safety as well. Since we don't even have a free safety at this point. Of course, free agency really wasn't expecting much here. So we will move actually to be we need a kicker. Greg Zerline is clearly the best kicker available. So we're going to give him a good enough offer so he stays on. We really have basically no need for a wide receiver. However, Mecole Hardman usually lasts pretty late into like maybe the fifth round. So probably we'll take a look at him if he's there. But we're not going to reach. Really just looking for a, uh, a safety. But... I don't know if I trust any of these guys. Maybe Byron Murphy can play some safety. A little bit better zone covers than man, maybe. Even though I think because of this whole superstar abilities thing, it's going to kind of be rough for us next league, next time for the um, or next season for the Legacy League. I think a guy uh, right here, this is going to be a big player for us. I think uh, Jamel Dean is going to be really good because he's going to be so fast. He's If we can develop him as a decent number one, he's going to be good. Probably become one of the best corners in the league for us. This is a really rough situation, but I think we are going to be all in on Phillip Rivers. I think he's played pretty well for us, and uh, you know he's not really showing much signs of stopping. So I don't think there's really a reason, no matter how high we are here, to go QB. Pick three. Hopefully, uh, honestly, I don't even know who I want. Mm, that would have been one of them. Definitely would have been one of them. Now, pick number three. There's a very uh, high choice. Maybe not my first choice, but because, I mean, I kind of have to. I kind of have to. Nick Bosa joining brother Joey on the defensive line. This is a spectacle. We have honestly made a mockery of the NFL draft. We have done it just for the sake of doing it. And now I really want Ed Oliver. <laughs> Uh, we have a couple of guys, maybe Jonah Williams, Ed Oliver, both guys probably going to go very high. Cody Ford are going to be one of them as well. We really just want one of those positions, I think. Uh, I really don't know how far our picks go. Uh, but Michael Brockers, he's still pretty good. So, I don't I mean, we don't really even need Ed Oliver. The question is, do I want him? So, what are our picks? 
So you have 11, 12, 19. Interesting choices. Uh, Devin Bush has to be one of those guys for us. So I think we will move up a few spots. How high is he willing to go, though? Like, there's really no sign of telling where someone's going to go. Like, Devin Bush could literally go number four. Josh Allen, Buccaneers could go Jet Devin. Uh, I think the Bengals could use a guy. So we're going to trade to the Bengals. We really need a middle linebacker, like Des. Well, not even just a middle. We just need a linebacker of coverage. So we trade pick 19 and then Wosu to the Bengals. So we keep number 11, and uh, I think it's a pretty fair trade, in fairness. Uh, what else do we have here? Ed Oliver is still there. Um, hmm. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. Uh, Ed Oliver is a great player. He still have the linemen, too. Devin Bush is desperate need, though. We, we have a desperate need for him. We're going to go with Devin. I'm going to give him star dev because, honestly, you can't really even tell how much better Devin White is than him. So if, if one has star, I think the other should have star. He's not still there. Uh, I think this is definitely a prime position for Cody Ford. That's who we're going to take. Star dev, Cody Ford, starting tackle for us. Uh, maybe we moved him guard. I don't know. Who knows? I think the Saints are giving us an offer. I just can't refuse. Oh, hell no. The Cowboys are really giving us offer. I know it's a late second. Let's see what they get, though. That is a great trade-up for the Cowboys. Holy crap. I'm just going to go for Savage, even though I know he's not going to be great. Normal dev, we're definitely going to manually put him at quick because he's actually going to be one of the better safeties in this class. Hunter it is. 73 overall. What's his ability? Pretty good. Obviously super underrated, but a lot of the players... I don't think it's anyone's underrated in the class. I think people are too overrated, so there's just so much talent in the first like five rounds that a lot of those guys do get left. So Bosa, Bush, and Cody Ford... Obviously, not going to get those types of picks very easily, but dream draft for the uh, the Chargers, I think. Then again, uh, Melvin really, you know, really need to take him, honestly. So Devin White, of course, he's a star dev. Nothing really going to change here. I kind of just want to see where people went. So Jonah Williams to the Bucks. They are desperate for linemen, but Devin White was the safer choice, I would say. Not even just safer, safer, but maybe a bigger need. Rashawn Gary. Ed Oliver went to 9. If he would have went to 11, we probably would have taken him, honestly. But I like what we went with, honestly. Where's uh, Byron Murphy? So Byron did have star dev. Oh, he would have been a great safety. Absolutely brilliant safety. But we got Darnell Savage, which is, it's all right. Melvin Ingram in the seventh round next year for the Giants' first round pick. Absolute steal and a half for them, no question about it. So we trade Dan Feeney a second round this year and a third round next year. For the Bengals' first-round pick. Don't worry about Dan Feeney moving the tackle to increase his value. I didn't do that. He just decided he wanted to play right tackle at the last possible moment so he could increase his trade value. What? So we trade Forrest Lamp, Kaiser White, and our first-round pick, or whoever's first-round pick, pick 32, to the Jets for Mosley. Always a guy that's very expensive. Obviously, the Jets know that better than anyone. Of course, he will be playing our right outside linebacker position. I, don't know, I think we've uh, done a good job of upgrading the team. Of course, Cordy Ford is going to be a great right tackle for us. Star Devil, hopefully going to turn 84 overall by the end of the season, obviously. Uh, we all know that even with good dev and decent sliders, it still takes a long time to upgrade offensive linemen unless you're physically playing every game and doing every practice, uh, which we obviously don't have the time to do that. So Darnell Savage will actually be playing the strong safety position. The game had that automatically set. And honestly, it doesn't really matter Mitch, which one to me plays which spot. doesn't matter really, especially in Madden. Uh, and then, of course, Nick and Joey. Hopefully, they can get some uh, get some success together. Nick could honestly be a better overall than Joey by the end of the season as long as he gets around 12-plus sacks, which, of course, we know isn't always the case around here. So we have some re-signings. Uh, a re-signing that I never had to deal with in our Legacy League because Phillip just wasn't worth it. I think he started with an 86-87 overall. Joey Bosa, he's uh, only star dev here, but he always wavers between the two. We're going to give him a massive seven-year deal. His brother Nick should be uh, quite uh, in tune with that signing because, of course, he hopes to get a similar deal in the future. Uh, Hunter Henry, going to give him like a six-year deal. He's one of the best tight ends in Madden for sure. Give him that deal. And Boosh, what else do we have? Brockers, Jatavis for sure. Jatavis has been a decent uh, addition for us. Hasn't really upgraded, even though his dev is there. Uh, you know, obviously, the high tackle guy. 
just haven't really developed, which kind of worries me with you know a guy like Devin Bush on the roster. Uh, Melvin Gordon, I think a five-year deal is worth it. I really don't want to pay it, but I will. Of course, a guy like Phillip, he's going to go down in overall no matter what, so we might as well wait for the season to finish. At worst, we could just tag him anyways. Brockers, I would love to keep him. Uh, another guy that even though we could avoid... Ooh, I actually... I would like to sign Phillips and then I could tag Brockers. We'll see what happens, though. So I'm kind of glad that Melvin Gordon didn't actually accept. I know he's a great player, but the thing is, we could probably re-sign him through free agency for even cheaper. Uh, and here we are in the playoffs with a 9-3-1 and record. MVP Phillip, and yet we can't get a bye week. Interesting. Phillip Rivers, you do see this every once in a while, which kind of worries me. I don't think he's going to go up in overall, but the price of him is not really going to change, so we probably should have just signed him when we had the chance. We'll still see. We obviously have time. Devin Bush, that could be a dev up. That's a, that's a pretty solid season. Nick and Joey, disappointing as hell. Holy crap. That is not good. They combined for 15. They should be getting 15 apiece. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, let's take a look at what overall we are. So Hunter Henry is an upgrade. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Melvin. Melvin? I'm looking at Melvin. Phillip. Superstar Dev. Uh, his overall really isn't going to change that much. So maybe it was still smart to leave him. Uh, Devin Bush. Where's Jatavis? He was a starter before. Maybe it just changed for... I don't know. I don't know. He was a starter for sure. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, like I said, Nick Bosa. Almost Joey Bosa's overall already, which is impressive. It's nice. Savage only went up three overalls, even though he was on the practice squad. Definitely rough. And uh, we obviously had Mike Williams on the uh, slot receiver spot. So we're ready to go. I mean, there's really not much that we can do to improve. Let's go Hunter Henry. Make sure that they go with vertical threat. I don't know why they would go with possession. Vertical threat's the best upgrades you can get. And uh, that's a really good upgrade. Three catching. It's pretty impressive stuff. 79 overall Bengals. Here we go. Oh, God, don't do it to me, EA. End of the game, Simmage. I don't even know who got the ball first. Uh, we are right to left, so we did get the ball first. It was fine. As long as we get the first score, it's really all that matters. Getting on the field in uh, a decent bit. You know, defense really setting that one up for us. Defense obviously doing a really good job. Really, when it comes down to if we have a chance of winning the Super Bowl, it's really how many stops this defense can make. It, it, we make so many stops, and even with an MVP quarterback, it's usually just not enough. And uh, obviously here, defense doing a damn good job holding to 14 points considering how little the offense has done. Uh, the Bengals' defense isn't that good. So obviously our defense really showing up as usual, and we only win by 12, which is, is really disappointing, honestly. I don't care that it was a win. It's, it's a disappointing performance uh, across the board for the offense. DeAndre Hopkins maybe not, maybe not going to be lumped into that one. Devin Bush has been a very good addition. Just absolutely killing it in tackles, man. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, though, because obviously it could mean he's giving up a lot of plays and just bringing the guy down after missing. So the 13 and... Wow, okay. 13 and 3 Dolphins. Interesting. They're 79 overall as well. What is this, a free trip to the Super Bowl? Even though we're probably going to lose one of these one of these days. Here we go down the field. The Dolphins score early. We score a touchdown, though, which obviously those are the points that matter. Down the field, long drive for three. Here, another long drive for seven. Start of the second half. The Dolphins not keeping up with us too well. And holy crap, a lot of scoring there. It's like 10 points total in a span of like two minutes. I don't know what that was about. Uh, defense, once again, holding us up pretty high. Once again, you know, 79 overall. We've only put up 31 points with all the stops. I get 31's decent, but once again, it's just the defense is killing it and we're not putting up enough points. You know, it's Ryan Fitzpatrick. They held into a 56.9 passer rating. We need to do better on offense. One of these times they're going to face an offense that we just can't stop, you know? And so we got to get it going. Who the hell is Ferguson? I don't even know who the hell that was. Barely even. I don't even think I've seen the first name. Head of the championship game now. Who is it going to be? This is the game we lost last time. I th Was it the Browns again? No, we made the Super Bowl, actually. What am I talking about? Browns are back with a vengeance. They've upgraded themselves four times. We have upgraded ourselves five. So, you know... We're the better team, and we've made the most improvement. Odell and Hopkins, very similar receiver core. Uh, I would probably give the a nod to, to Odell by a little bit, but Hopkins is bigger. Early scoring for the Browns. Down by four. We do get three again. Defense is killing it early. We finally score seven. We're down by one, and to start the second half, we're going to continue that down by one strategy. Not much of a strategy, is it? Defense chokes it. Like I said before, Offense has got to take more opportunities for seven, and ooh, two-point conversion failed. 
Defense does it again. Seven minutes left. Third and ten. Is that a first down? It is. Oof, that was very clutch. Come on, guys. And it doesn't matter because we choke it, and that's probably going to be the game. Maybe not. Defense is lots of trusting. Penalty on the offense as well, so this is a great opportunity. If you can't score a touchdown here, there you go. Up by five. Defense, please. Defense, please. Could you not defense? There, there's no way the AI stops them. Like, I don't know what it is, but when you get to a certain point on the field, the game just doesn't have it. Someone was targeted eight times and caught all eight passes. That's terrible. No pass rush. Look at Nick just spinning in circles. And that's for a touchdown. Kind of kind of glad that happened, though. All right, Mike Williams. This is all you, man. And Phillip has got the worst release in Madden. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's his throw power, but Jesus, he does. Man, is he not a good quarterback to use. And that is just terrible by the left tackle. Inside Hopkins. That's not even Hopkins. It's Williams. To the 48-yard line. All we need to do is get about, what, 20 yards? And then let... Our newly acquired uh, kickers do his job. It's your time to shine. Maybe not. Oh, it is. It's your time to shine. He drops. I don't know if he actually dropped the ball. It might have been Demarius Randall. We're about to lose here, though, which really sucks. Really, Phillip? Good try by Hopkins, but that's really about all you're going to get. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes when uh, your linemen don't block. So here's the matchup. Baker and Mayfield outperform Rivers. Not really a shocker there, but... When you stop their ground game to that kind of effort and you still lose, it's a disappointing, you know, feeling. It's the worst thing to see. Sack totals, I mean, we're just not doing well. Defense is, I mean, the defense is holding them kind of, but we're not taking the ball away. Honestly, that's what we need. This offense isn't good enough. Well, we're going to do a final season because obviously we're not really going to get much better than what we have right now, especially as Phillip gets older. 96 overall. Last season, we made the Super Bowl, lost it. Made the championship game, lost that by three. Let's take a look at the Pro Bowl roster just to put in perspective of how good this team is. So uh, no Melvin Gordon, which makes literally no sense. Phillip Rivers, though, um, wide receivers. We only had one. Hunter Henry is the tight end. Hernandez, Marpitt, uh, Mason, all on our team, obviously. No DNs because of how bad they're playing. DTs, none of them, surprisingly. Linebackers, really? None? I'm a little shocked by that. Trevor Williams is one of the cornerbacks. Safeties, I don't uh, you know. Not, not even Derwin. I don't know where Derwin's that, there for that. Kickers, Zerline. So, I mean, we've had a few pieces. And obviously, we have the talent for more. It's just they're not performing. And it's the Cowboys again. Are they going to win again? And they do win again. Three. Uh, so, the Cowboys uh, win two Super Bowls in a row. Lovely stuff. 96 overall. I don't know how much money we have, but we have some re-signings to make. Where is Phillip? Phillip River is one year, so really not going to save much here at all. This is 1,000% going to be a I don't want to sign thing. Yeah, no, And no matter how much I would have offered him there, unless it would have been like $50 million, he probably wouldn't have signed. Um, so the AI really doesn't usually go for quarterback too much, so we're going to let him hit free agency. We're going to lowball bra. Oh, the tag might actually be quite a bit for him. I think free agency would be long. Yeah, damn it. I should have actually given him the deal. I think we're going to let all these guys go, and we're going to fight for them. I think that's that's the best way to do it. Actually, now we're not going to get Phillip for any cheaper, so we'll tag Phillip for $23 million and then we'll uh, go for everyone else. I don't know who this punter is, but he's not terrible. Hey, he actually signed. Nice. So we have Melvin. If we decide to keep him, we'll go for him. And then uh, Brockers. But if not, we'll just replace Brockers. And then Melvin, obviously. There'll probably be another running back there for us. So Tyreek Hill. That's something we're probably going to see in real life. I'm honestly shocked that Melvin's getting an offer. Uh, really not a common... You know, guys like... The guys that are younger than him usually don't get offers. So the fact that the Colts are actually going for him here is a little shocking. Tyreek Hill would actually be a fun running back himself. Tyreek Hill would be a freak, but can't do it. Uh, all right, so Camu Gruger. Unfortunately, Brockers is getting an offer here. I should have known it, too. We have to at least get to 98 points. 100 points, fair enough. We made a mistake. We need to get him back. Will Melvin re-sign with us? 
95 points. I mean, we're offering them both more offers than the uh, the next guy. This would kind of be big if we lost these guys, not going to lie. At least Melvin. We got them both back. Honestly, I don't I don't see that happening in real life. It's it's kind of rare for somebody to get let go and then they come back. It's it's an obvious sign that the team isn't really committed. But yeah, there's really not a whole lot we can do in the draft to make ourselves better. Maybe just be looking for a DT and lineman just for the future. Wide receiver, I suppose, might be a factor soon here. I was actually going to go minor. I was going to have him as our backup, but it is what it is. I didn't put a, say, a quarterback on there unless the game's trying to tell me something. Definitely did not have a quarterback on the list there. You know, there's one in the third round. Probably will go for him, but I did not put a star on anyone. Didn't even look at the damn quarterbacks. Steven Ward, uh, early second. That guy could be worth our second pick. I don't know what our second pick even is, but what is our second pick? 21. Honestly, I don't know what to take. I don't like any of the players here. Steven Ward, I think he's pretty solid, actually. Quick dev, 78 overall. Uh, does this do something for Derwin? Maybe. Maybe Derwin plays corner. He's probably good enough to do it. And then take best available quarterback in the third round. Well, late second. Normal dev, 77 overall, 22 years of age. Definitely a guy you could work up. Jumping, I don't understand why the game does that. Like, he's clearly a jump ball, go get it guy. And the game's just trying to screw him over. Uh, a plus throw power, can you really pass up on that? I, I, don't, I don't think you can. He's the best available for sure. And uh, he's a quick dev guy. 98 throw power, massive arm. Uh, something quite opposite to uh, Philip Rivers here. Here is the... Uh, the, the class for us, we had three decent picks. Uh, nothing too crazy to go uh, go talking to your mom about. Douglas Goodwin, cornerback number one overall. Uh, interesting. How many cornerbacks have went number one overall, by the way? Like, I, don't, I don't really know the history of the NFL. I don't know, like, oh, damn, that guy was pretty good. Super slow, though. Like, I don't know exactly who was what and, you know, who was that good of a prospect coming out of college. But, like, how high was Charles Woodson? Like, he had to be pretty damn high, huh? Charles Woods and Randy. That's a, that's a tough one. I don't know. Charles is pretty damn beastly. I think uh, in this modern day, I would definitely take Charles because wide receiver, it just doesn't even seem like with the way the rules are made, it doesn't even seem like you have to, to even be that great of a wide receiver to have a decent career. So I, I would definitely take the cornerback, especially Charles. He's freakly. Uh, so we're going into our final season. No Charles Woodson on this roster, but Desmond King kind of plays that role for us and. uh yeah, Derwin probably going to be playing a little bit of corner this season. Let's see how good of a man coverage he is. Good enough. Uh, actually, better than zone, I think. Uh, let's move him to cornerback. Ironically, we may need to... No, we don't need to sign him yet. Uh, safety. I can't remember what gets paid more. It's very similar. I think the safeties are a bit cheaper, but corners don't really make that much on this game either. So, Trevor gets cucked again. But it makes... Oh! Interesting. Interesting stuff. What is Savage? No man or zone. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're just going to play the youngster there. So I don't know what the money situation is looking like here, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're not going to be able to afford all these players. I'm just saying. Oh, we can't afford all the players. Yay. I'm happy. You're happy. Everybody's happy. CJ Mosley, not going to be so happy when he realizes we're not going to resign him. Same with Keenan. Maybe. I really don't know what to do. You can't tag everyone. Mosley may be worth the tag because he'll probably last long enough. Quick dev, though, is rough. I don't know. We're just, we're just going to let it ride. You probably don't even worry. Headed to the playoffs. Obviously, we've made it two times in a row with 12-plus wins. Expect that minimum. And, okay, 11-5. Maybe not minimum, but still. Playoff spot, best in the division. Phillip took a little bit of a step back, but... Still a good season. Melvin Gordon with 11 touchdowns, 1,300 yards. Drops Dev, I believe. Uh, receiving. Hopkins is doing well. Everyone else, not so much. A lot of, you know, no real number two wide receiver. You know, I mean, we have the wide receiver. Just, they're just not playing like number two. Is Leonard Williams is the best sack total on the team. Nick and Joey, very, and I mean very similar in seasons. Like brother, like brother. That's never something someone's ever said, but... We said it here, Desmond King worth the contract. Drops in dead, but that's a Madden thing. Who cares? Who cares what Madden thinks? Not me. So we are a 96 overall. Obviously, uh, 
you know, primed to make another run here. Question is, will we finally win a Super Bowl? I don't know. Going to the end of the game, we've scored three. They've scored nothing. Melvin with a huge rushing touchdown. Off to a really solid start here, and I mean really. Ooh, he gave a big rushing touchdown, which sucks. Halftime, 31-7. to This is the type of performance I need to see more often. This is... This is just dominating. You know, this is a performance this team is capable of doing every single game. 48-14, to 14, that is a nice performance. I can't be mad with that at all. Marietta held us under 100 yards, a 45 passer rating. Just an amazing game. Derrick Henry did well, too. Uh, and obviously, him and Melvin both had really long runs, which helps. But still, Derwin at corner gets an interception, which is nice. Unfortunately, that is the wild card game, so it's going to get harder from here. Going against the Texans, we stole Hopkins. They're going to be pissed. They are uh, eight overalls better than the Titans, but ten overalls less than us. Of course, the Browns are in the mix again. It's going to be a pretty much a similar AFC finish as per usual, but it depends on winning this game first. Can we do it? Obviously, we're primed to do it, but this game loves to uh, just make me question life entirely. I know a lot of you guys can also share that pain, so we'll bask in the uh, contemplations together. Uh, field goal battle of the century. Uh-oh, Texans decide not to play fair, and they decide they want more than a field goal. We decide to tie them up with that, though. 16 all. An interesting champion, a divisional, not even championship game. Uh, that's to say the least. Wow. Some really nice pass on the field, and then we just go completely stale. We're up by three, but that's not going to be enough. And they do the same, but there's a pick. And I obviously wasn't expecting it, so I was getting ready to just, you know, take a look at uh, our demise firsthand. And instead, the defense comes up with a turnover. Obvi obviously, offense does nothing with it, but the defense, they do it again. So 19 to 16, 19 16. Interesting. Um, let's take a look. Uh, picks. At least Phillip doesn't throw interceptions to the most, for the most part, anyways. Uh, who was the one? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. Let me think. Um, I'm going to guess it was Desmond. Damn it. I was going to say Trevor, and I never did. How many Williams do we have on this team? We have a few, like three or four, right? And that's like after losing Tyrell. So, you know, obviously, that would have been another one. AB still in the league, and he seems to be at least like about a 94, 95 overall. So, impressive stuff there. All right, going down the field quickly, and we score a touchdown after failing. Huge pass down the field. This could be a Super Bowl trip again. Wow, 21-3, to looking strong defense. Ooh, ooh, we're choking this thing away. It's the fourth quarter. We have yet to score points since the first. We're looking good here. We do finish with a touchdown. Nice. So up by seven. They do at the punt. This is the chance for the offense to put them away. The offense kind of comes up to the call you know they did have to drive pretty far and they did get points so offense does enough and we will win the championship game 34 to 20 headed to the Super Bowl to potentially face the Cowboys who have a chance at three straight let's take a look though Phillip did throw a pick but that's fine he played really well Miles Sanders did really well for the Raiders obviously gonna have some conversations there of why he wasn't a start in the first place that's something I'm not worried about Derwin James with the pick Nice. Super Bowl, is it the Cowboys again? There's no way it's three straight years of the Cowboys, is it? Wow. Owen Wilson up in this joint. How in the world are the Cowboys this good? 15-1. and one. They are a god tier. 96 overall. That's, that's crazy. That's all it takes, man. One really good season. Year one, they took it all the way, and that's how it works. Just like our uh, Legacy League. First year, we killed it. MVP Jacoby. You know, a bunch of other great players. And we never look back. Then that's you know basically what the Cowboys do here. Amazing stuff. That guy's name is Madden. EA just thinks they're so damn cute, huh? Tampa Bay Super Bowl. Uh, they are up by three. Our offense is really just not doing well. Giving them short fields to work with. So to the second half, we are going to be down by ten. We're going to cut that lead to seven, but we're going to give up another touchdown. And offense. I know the defense isn't doing well, but it's a lot of this has to do with the offense giving up short fields. There's not much a defense can do when they're inside their own 20 every single damn time on defense, you know? And here's defense making another clutch play. And on third and five, it's a penalty. And then we drop the ball. Interesting. I mean, there's not much the defense can do. Like, the average starting field position is somewhere inside of our... Ooh. 
that's a really bad play. That's 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 a game losing NFL films type play right there. You know, you just you just don't see yourself winning when something like that happens. It just doesn't happen. Like you're just not gonna win the game at that at you know, that phase. Every damn time we do a rebuild, I swear it comes down to having to make a stop against Zeke and the Cowboys. Every damn time, I swear it does. And then here we are, you know, pretend if we even get a chance at the ball. We uh <sighs> Oh god, I hate this. Who the hell is Ward? I don't even know who these guys are. And I mean that's just the biggest hole in the world and I'm pissed. I'm no. No, I'm 205 yards, three touchdowns in this defense. I'm simming it. If we win a Super Bowl, I don't care. I don't. I just don't. I don't care. The Cowboys keep winning everything anyways. All right, simming. We're going to lose anyways, aren't we? I feel like a cheater. Guys, I regret everything. I feel like a cheater. It's so deserved. This team, this team deserved it, you know? We didn't force the win, so it's, I don't know. EA spoke, you know, we, we sim it automatically and we win by 14. Well, we could even barely put up points against them in uh, watching the sim. I don't care. I don't care. I will get the comment of, bro, you could just let it lose, man. We'd be like, oh, this is the most important thing in the world that you did that, even though you technically didn't cheat because it's a sim regardless. That's a really long comment, but it'll happen. It's going to be in the comment section. Um... I don't care. This Chargers team deserved it. I mean, look at this. Imagine DeAndre Hopkins, Keenan, and Mike on the same freaking offense. Obviously, you don't really have that small guy to catch a pass, which is ironic because this guy's not small either. Uh, Renfro's somewhat small, I suppose. Uh, what else do we have? We have a good offensive line, best in the league, obviously. No question about it. Uh, where? How was? Damn, even Will got up there? I usually sim a lot, so I really don't see it a lot. I mean, Devin Bush was obviously in because we saw him. You know, we used him as we got burned by Zeke. Let's take a look at Nick Bosa's uh, ratings. Pretty damn solid, if you ask me. What about Cody Ford? Cody Ford started out at 23. He's a great player as well. And Darnell, he really didn't develop too well. He did get up to star, though, which is nice. Uh, nah, he's a pretty good player. He's just just not that high of an overall, which is it's pretty fair. But, yeah, I mean, that's the team. That's the Chargers fantasy rebuild. If you want to cry about it, word to your mother. I don't know. I've I've heard that from Ice Vanilla Ice, so I must just said some other things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. We don't cheat often, but hey, at least we admit it, I suppose. <laughs> Even though we didn't force any wins or anything, we just resimmed basically. Uh like the video if you did enjoy it. I mean, even if you didn't enjoy it, leave a like, you know. I'm I'm desperate. Why not? Uh, follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. Subscribe to my second channel, PK Your Plays. And yeah, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video.